Welcome to Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. 14 after 9, 914 in New York, and I am. I miss it a morning, everybody, NBC Sports. You know, let me just say this. This friend of uh, Taylor Lupica's, <clears throat> Jim, uh, who's, who's married, unfortunately. But this, this, this woman, if she weren't married, let me just give you an example, was, uh, was very attractive to me. I could, I could tell that immediately. But, I mean, she had, she's obviously very happily married, so nothing worked out there. Well, what's your point? Well, it's just, I'm just, I'm a very, I'm, I'm, I'm a very appealing person. Well, <laughs> WNBC Sports, the Yankees uh, won last night. But I, but, but by talking about it on this radio program, it doesn't help matters, has it? It's never worked, has it? No, nope, through the years, not. certainly not. It's always turned into a, a nightmare. Yes. Some larger nightmares than others. Certainly. <laughs> WNBC Sports. The Yankees won last night. Yeah, uh, down in Baltimore, five to one. Uh huh. But me, you know, see, maybe once. <laughs> what? Maybe once. What would you see? I, I'll just. You see, the problem is I don't have anything else to talk about other than what I did my life because I'm not interested in anything else. Of course not. And so we all know that. Either that or the... I'm reading Larry McMurphy's new book, by the way. Along Came Billy, which is terrific. But yeah. we, we wouldn't have time to get into that now. Billy the Kid deal? Anything for Billy. All right. <clears throat> Long Came Billy, Long Came Jones. <sighs> so, so, so I, well, my point is I wind up talking about these women. Or whatever. Because that's... Because you must talk about yourself. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's, Being, like, it's like Kinky totally Friedman says, I'm not afraid to live, I'm not afraid to love, I'm not afraid to die, I'm just afraid I'm going to have to stop talking about myself for five minutes. Fifteen seconds. Yeah. What is that? Knocking. It's uh, somebody working. Go up and t st stairs tell them to stop it. Right away, Bob. WMC Sports, the Yankees won last night to beat Baltimore 5-1, to one. Boston won 2, they beat the Red Sox, they beat Cleveland. So Boston, Boston is the Red Sox. Boston, uh, Boston the beat Red the Red Sox. See how confused you are? Which would be correct. Boston is the Red Sox or Boston are the Red Sox. Either way. It depends on the context and what you're putting at the moment. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Okay. And Boston's a team. The and William Sapphire Sox. William Sapphire is listening to public. Uh, yeah, and it is, so it doesn't make any sense. Listen to Garrison Keeler. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. The Red Sox beat Cleveland 12 to nothing. So Boston's on top by three over Milwaukee. Yeah. Three and a half over New York and four over Detroit. Tonight, Boston's at Cleveland again. The Yankees in Detroit and Milwaukee is Oakland. Stop it! <laughs> now see? The big now big it, thing, you son of a bitch! Here is just exactly the kind of thing that we're trying Excuse to talk about. Swear. And you're concerned about Michael Tyson's state of mind when you, in fact, are a psychopath. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I don't have. I don't have some bacon eye little bimbo trying to rip me off with, 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 with some uh, at, infected mother-in-law. At, at the moment. Now go ahead with the sports. Report. Whenever I, if I ever get married again, they got to get through. Uh, they got to get through Richard Blumenthal. That's what they got to get through. It's a little bit of a problem. Yes, right. it would be. Besides, uh, women are not attracted to me. That's true. Because I let me finish this, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's very nice. No, are we just going to just turn this into the swear hour? No, but I mean, you know what I mean. It's unbelievable. Let me he's just so let overboard. Me, it's just he's gone. Let me talk to you. <laughs> let me talk to you. All right, Tom. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's 18 after 9. I miss it a morning. All right. <laughs> Women are not attracted to me because I have money or Rolls Royce or any of those that. kinds of things. I know they're not. Okay. They're attracted to me because I'm witty and fun and bright and... <laughs> I have a Rolls Royce. <laughs> Stop that! <you're laughs> not, where are they? If somebody is doing some work, Put, live with these things, Donald. All right. God. Um, th there's no other sport. What? You know, there's no other sports that's really important. I mean, the Giants are going to play Lawrence Taylor's back. The U.S. Olympic 400. Four by 100 uh, meter relay team's been disqualified, unbelievably, from the Olympics. In the, in, the, in the initial heat, they, they screwed up passing the baton, and they're out of it. So Carl Lewis would have won a gold medal along with the other guys. They're not going to be able to run in it now. I mean, that's just nuts.
You know what's going on over there right now? They're, they're still over there trying to figure out. I say, now nah, I got no, now nah, you take it. No, now nah, I got They're all standing out in the middle because of the Because we right got now. these sushi sucking little goons over there running around them white. Sushi sucking little goons. <laughs> with them white hats on who haven't got a. a you're referring to the no, Olympics. No, no, they're ass from second base over there officiating the Olympics, and it's ridiculous. And, you know, and not, not, ju that, not just against American athletes at all, against all of these athletes. This, this guy from West Germany who they threw out of the decathlon for just a little piddly reason. He, he defaulted. On the first Three event, times. he had a false start, and the third one was, was up in the air. That was ridiculous. I think I three. Hate, I think I hate I think these. Three times is enough. That that's enough chances. You know how much I hate these Koreans now. But why? I am no longer going down there to Wan Hunky's Lettuce Palace and buy anything. You know, on H Street, where I used to go all the time. Well, God, I got a hundred dollars a week in there on brown rice and junk. I'll get it somewhere else. I'll go over to Balducci's and get it. Fine. And it could be your little protest. That is going to be my protest. That's your little protest. Fine. You can, okay. you can start laying off people down there at Juan Hookie's Lettuce Factory because I'm not coming in there anymore. Because of this outrageous behavior on the part of all these Korean officials. We're not indicting all Koreans. Yeah, yeah we are. Hell, well, well, yeah, you, you on, have. Oh, uh, yeah, fine. So don't pull that in that position. Because uh, you're on these thieving lying Koreans over there. Man, what a, you know, what a screwed up deal that is. We should all... Well, we should. Well, don't we have a bunch of battleships and stuff over there? <laughs> don't, don't, right off the coast? Well, why don't we just go ahead, Don, and just uh, just indict and impugn all Orientals? Just go ahead. Why don't we just good. drop the big one on them over sure, there? Right there on idea. that Olympic village yeah, after, we, after all the athletes are out of there. That's just great, Don. Anyway, uh, the Olympics will continue throughout the weekend. And uh, be, there's football and baseball this weekend. And the playoffs start pretty soon, so there'll be something else to wait for it. And, uh, are you quite through? Well, I guess I am. You've got me so upset. Roz got well, me upset. How did I upset you? It was Roz's fault. Roz got Why? me upset. By, because you... Because you... I didn't mean to you, get you upset. I'm because, just trying to help. Because I, 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 I intend to have a successful relationship. You should. Despite you and Charles trying to prevent that. Oh, I yeah, don't yeah, think we're, we've done anything to prevent it. We're just trying to help you. You're right? not trying to help yes, you. Yes, we are. You, everyone needs someone in their life. People live longer when you have oh, someone in your life. Man. I want you to live for a long time. I'll, I'll do fine. Thank okay. you. Well, see, trying to help you, and then you just lash out. It's 21 after 9. I'm I miss in the morning, Charlie. I miss the morning program. In the dream world of the world. Yeah. Here's Charles with the weather. Thank you. The WNBC weather today, tonight, and tomorrow. Partly cloudy, warmer. The highs in the low to mid-70s. Lows it. in the low 60s. Stop it, Ben! Stop it! Come on, babe. Don't you hear that knocking? Yeah. What Dave knocking, Do <laughs> you hear a dog barking, guys? <laughs> 59 degrees right now at 22 minutes after 9 o'clock, and that's what's happening. What's the dog saying, Doug? <laughs> saying, kill the four-eyed moron. <laughs> I'm Charles McCord, WNBC New York. Here's Ross Frank now with the latest from the WNBC Traffic and Transit Network, sponsored by 9X Mobile Communications. Good morning, Roz. Good morning, Mr. Imus, my friend. Here's what's happening again. It's going to be slow for you crossing the George Washington Bridge. In an earlier tie-up on the eastbound cross box, Ride Jerome. It should be cleared, or at least on the shoulder. All your lanes should be open. Shadow reporting southbound BQE still very heavy between Northern and Queens Boulevards. And then again, from Atlantic Avenue to the outbound Gowanus. And that is due to an accident on the outbound Gowanus involving a truck. If you're northbound on the BQE, still very heavy from Atlantic Avenue to the inbound Brooklyn Bridge. Coming in from New Jersey, it's been a tough morning. Inbound Lincoln and Holland still averaging about a 25-minute wait. The George Washington Bridge on the Fort Lee side, not too bad, but again, watch it on the bridge itself. Alternate side in effect today in all five boroughs, and that is it for the morning. More traffic and transit this afternoon, 340 with Alan Combs on WNBC. 9X Mobile, Lauren speaking. 9X Mobile, Leslie speaking. 9X Mobile, Glenn speaking. And Don Crickey speaking for 9X Mobile Communications. With our automatic call distributor, over 95% of our calls to customer service are answered on the first ring, with the remaining 5% answered within 8 seconds. But just as important as how quickly we answer you is how well we answer your needs. I 
recommend the weekend plan for you, Mr. Carruthers. Sure, you can use your mobile phone in Red Deer Canada. I'll get the access code for you. To activate call forwarding, Miss Spencer, press clear, now the star, and then... You don't have to know all the answers because 9X customer consultants like Lauren, Glenn, and Leslie do. And if they don't, they'll get them for you. Call 1-800-443-BELL. That's 1-800-443-BELL or look for us in the 9X Yellow Pages. For mobile communications, the answer is 9X. 24 after 9, I'm Mr. Boy. Well, this is it. The biggest sales event in Jim Smith Chevrolet's history. <laughs> you feeling you heard this before? Except that. Now, the Jim Smith Chevrolet, that's why I bought my truck, by the way. McCord got his Corvette. It wasn't any big, like, didn't get any, like, super deal, I mean, other than anybody else would get. But it's a good outfit, and they take, they, they, it's a, they have a great service department. And, uh, well, I, I would recommend you go there. Not just because they bought this commercial, but I mean, it's a good outfit. Just Miss Chevrolet uh, having this big sale this weekend. There's no, uh, it's actually just tomorrow. And, uh, so you would want to get in on it your best chance ever to get the exact Chevrolet car truck you want at an honest-to-goodness bargain price. For one day only tomorrow, every new car, used car, demonstrator, and truck in the in the huge 800, 800 car, Jim Smith inventory, be specially marked down, to uh, its lowest price ever. That includes the exciting new 1989 models, the new GEO models, everything. Their appraisers and finance specials will be there to look at your trade and uh, get you the lowest finance rate, too. So go to this biggest Jim Smith Chevrolet sales event ever for the biggest automotive savings ever. Tomorrow, for one day only, Jim Smith Chevrolet, South Route 45 in Spring Valley and Route 208 in Walden. Jim Smith Chevrolet tomorrow. Check them out. British Airways wants me to tell all you globe-trotting Americans that it's high time to take off on one of their superb European holidays. Now 10% off for a limited time. What a perfectly splendid offer, I said. The British Isles wreathed in golden harvest light. Europe replete with echoes of the ancients. Yes, charming, they said, but what in fact we've got to communicate is that British Airways has hundreds of flexible European land arrangements at 10% off. London, Paris, Dublin, Rome, 10% off. Theatres, hotels, transport, 10% off. Well, I'm pleased to report that we've reached a compromise. For hard facts and figures on British Airways holidays at 10% off, call your travel agent or 1-800-876-2200 right now. However, for 10% off a radiant European sojourn, call 1-800-876-2200 at a quiet moment when inspiration tugs at your sleeve, and not a moment sooner. You must book and pay for your holiday by October 31st. Other significant restrictions apply. It's baseball playoff time, and that means one thing. It's time to pick up the New York Post for all the playoff action. And especially this coming Monday, October 3rd. The Post is going to have the ultimate playoff preview in a special pullout section. This is baseball coverage that only the Post can give you. Met Magic is back. But will it be enough to mesmerize Kirk Gibson and the new-look L.A. Dodgers? Lyle Spencer solves the mystery. Will it be Mets, Red Sox, too? John Harper talks to the Mets who might make it happen. Keith Hernandez, Daryl Strawberry, and rookie superstar Greg Jeffries. The American League East is still up for grabs. Will the winner be able to handle Jose Canseco in the fiery Oakland A's? Mike Kay reports. This Monday, October 3rd, be sure to pick up the New York Post for your special pullout section on the baseball playoffs. Before the first swing of the bats, take a crack at the New York Post this Monday. 27 after 9, 927 in New York, and I am I'm Mr. The Morning. This is new from Steve Winwood. I mean, it's AM new. Well, it's not as good as Roll With It, but it's a pretty good record, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. NBC. I mean, if it's not that good, we'll stop playing it. WNBC. Steve Winwood. It's the name of that thing. It's 932. I'm I'm Mr. The Morning. WNBC weather party, cloudy and warmer. High and low to mid 70s. Ryan, you know, 75, something like that. And Sunday is going to be partly cloudy with maybe some rain late in the day. But today, no rain. 59 going up to around 75. 
With us today is Professor Norbert Muss. Humbug. Sir, you've developed a method for resisting high-pressure sales techniques. I wouldn't pay a penny for anything you've got. And you claim you can resist even the most remarkable value. Nothing impresses me. Suppose you could have, say, the New York Times delivered to your home or office every day for 20 weeks for only $2.20 a week. Are you trying to sell me because it won't work? The Times is prize-winning coverage of world, national, and business news, sports Monday, science times, weekend. But not Sunday, right? <laughs> Sunday, too. Arts and leisure, travel, the magazine. Wait a second, you are interested. No, I'm not. Just $2.20 a week for the first 20 weeks. That's almost half off the regular home delivery price, and it's for new subscribers only. Almost half off? Do you have their number? 1-800-631-2500. Slower. <laughs> 1-800-631-2500. You are interested. It's for a friend. Sure, that's it for today, folks. $2.20 a week? That's their best offer ever. Excuse me? No, fine. Whatever. Pergament's gotten a couple of complaints lately about its advertising. Not from Pergamon customers. They've been really happy to find out that Pergamon's home centers have the absolute lowest prices on everything they need for their home. No, the complaints came from one of the other home centers in the area. They didn't like a part we had in a commercial where we said, if you hear a commercial for another home center saying they have the lowest prices, don't believe them. But we'll say it again. Two home centers can't both have the lowest prices. We suggest everybody check out Pergamon's prices. This week, Pergamon's running a giant sale featuring 25% off the large bath accessories in chrome and oak or golden oak and peerless single lever sink or bath faucets for just $39.99. Nobody's got prices lower than these. We guarantee it. Shop with confidence. Pergament. Everything for your home at the lowest prices. Ladies and gentlemen, the new General Motors warranty. <laughs> The new Bumper to Bumper Plus warranty. GM is the only American manufacturer to cover all the parts of all our 89 cars and light trucks for three years or 50,000 miles. Parts, labor, and towing, top to bottom, inside and out, A to Z. Bumper to Bumper. Tires are covered by the tire maker, and there's a $100 deductible per visit after the first year or 12,000 miles. See your Chevrolet, Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Buick, Cadillac, or GMC truck dealer for terms of the Bumper to Bumper Plus limited warranty. Only from GM. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, now, th you're, this is Mrs. Gumbel? That's right. Uh, Rhea Gumbel. Uh, what is it? Rhea. Rhea Gumbel. Uh-huh. Uh, well, good morning, uh, Mrs. Gumbel. Good morning to you, sweetheart. And first of all, thank you very much for uh, agreeing to talk with us. Now, I, the reason I've called you is... Uh, uh, because of the, some of the comments you made in Sports Illustrated, uh huh, uh, when they did the uh, article on your son Brian. Yeah, well, they they caught me at a bad moment. They did. Yeah, I had just walked the seven stories up to my apartment, uh -huh. and my leg was hurting me real bad. It was. So a lot of emotions came out in that interview. Well, it, it did sound like it. I mean. Well, I mean, when you said that, for example, you were we were trying to forget that you even had him. Uh huh. It indicated to me that there was some strain in your relationship. With no, him. I meant that. Oh, you did. Oh yeah. Uh huh. He's not. I, I'm living here. How much you figure that boy is making? Oh, he probably makes uh, a, a million or so a year, maybe more. Oprah Winfrey's kid bought her a mansion. I'm living in a seven four walk up in a crack neighborhood near the loop. <laughs> yeah, there in Chicago. Yeah, and Brian killed my dog. He did? Yeah, because the dog was costing too much of my social security check. Well, what did he care about your social security check? Well, I have to send the money to Brian. Oh, you do? Well, not anymore, because he fixed it that he gets my social security check directly now. <laughs> oh, he does? Uh-huh. Well, uh, Liz Smith writes in this morning's New York Daily News. Yeah. That seldom has a public... She's talking about the Sports Illustrated article. She says, seldom has a public fi figure come across as such an uptight, arrogant, tormented, ghost-ridden, unpleasant, mean-spirited jerk. 
Well, he's not all bad. He's not? No, he set me up in business. Oh, he did? Yeah, he said old people ought to be independent. Uh -huh. Yeah, he bought me a pail, a bottle of Windex, and a squeegee. <laughs> he said exercise do me good. Oh, oh he did? Yeah, I, there's rats in my apartment, too. Huh? But Brian says it's good because old people shouldn't be alone. I see. Uh-huh.